when glucose levels are below target, CAM APS FX will stop delivering insulin. If no insulin is needed for a long time, the pressure in the infusion tubing or line starts to drop and it can block. To prevent this from happening, CAM APS FX is designed to pulse once every 90 minutes to maintain the pressure in the tubing. This is called a patency pulse. The pulse delivers 0,04 units, a tiny amount of insulin. The pulse may look bigger on the graph as the graph shows the insulin delivery as a rate of 0,2 units per hour for a very short period of time. Patency pulses do not cause hypos. They are a sign that there is currently too much insulin in the body and CAM APS FX is trying to stop a hypo from happening. It may not always be possible. If there are a lot of patency pulses, it's worth reviewing. The insulin to carbohydrate ratios. They may be too weak or too strong. Carbohydrate counting. If too many carbs are being entered than actually eaten it can cause hypos. The bolus timing. Most people need to bolus 10 to 15 minutes before eating, 5 to 10 minutes if using Fiasp or Limjeff. The use of ease off. Is ease off being used correctly? For example starting it before being active or after drinking alcohol? The personal glucose target. It can be set anywhere between 4,4 to 11 millimoles per liter. Is the target right? In very young children, and some people with newly diagnosed diabetes, who have low insulin requirements, you may often see patency pulses during the night. This can be normal as these people require very little insulin between midnight and waking. If anyone is having hypos at this time, it is worth looking at what is happening the evening before. Is CAM APS FX consistently having to work hard to correct high glucose levels after the evening meal? If so, this could be causing the lows after midnight. Consider reviewing the insulin to carbohydrate ratio and personal glucose target settings in the last part of the day to try avoid the highs. The evening meal is often the most complex and largest meal of the day. It may be worth thinking about the size of the pre-meal bolus and if the dose needs to be split into two doses or some of the carbs entered into ad meal. If any of these settings or timings are not the right ones for the person at that time of day or night, they could be the reason why patency pulses and hypos are happening. When making setting changes, CAM Diab recommends that people do this with the support of their diabetes team. Music